Charcoon Taiwan got in touch with us after they saw our review of the Ethan chair and asked if we would be interested in reviewing one of their latest gaming chairs, the Skiller SGS40 in fabric. If you've been following my prior videos, you would know by now that I don't like race car gaming chairs. My most important reason for this is because I think most gaming chair designs have color which is too loud or the parts they are made of generally do not last. I am drawn to minimal design aesthetics and good ergonomics above all else. However, as a chair aficionado, I am always happy to try new things out and to be proven wrong. I'm Rafael from Hardware Sugar, and this is our unboxing and first impressions of the SGS40 from Sharkoon, and my very first experience with a gaming chair. Now let's get to it. Ang video na to ay handog ni CDKoffers.com. Marami kang mahanap na iba't ibang uri ng software dito. May games, apps, activation codes for Windows 10. Check out our video on CDK offers in the video description. Mabilis, mura, and syempre legit dito. Madali lang mag-order, search for the software you need, add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CDK ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. The box is 295 by 36 by 16 inches. Something to keep in mind in case you have concerns about it if it will fit in your car's trunk. Strong plastic cables encapsulating the box makes it easy for one person to carry the box up and down the stairs. I made a newbie mistake here and opened up the chair at the wrong side. I should have used the chair logo to guide me into opening up through the other side. But hey, at least you know what the unboxing experience is like if you opened it up the wrong way. When it comes to chair assemblies, I am always concerned that either a part will be missing or it will be too difficult for me to do on my own. In my last chair review, I needed to call the seller to help guide me through the assembly process. I am happy to say that I was able to assemble the SGS40 all by myself. If iPads were chairs, then this is how they would have been packaged. Sharkoon took it a step further by even providing a pair of gloves so your hands don't get dirty during assembly. Fancy. There is hardly a single crevice inside this box which hasn't been cushioned by some sort of foam pad, and each part has been delicately wrapped in plastic and sometimes further wrapped up with additional foam support or bubble wrap. In short, Sharkoon doesn't joke when it comes to making sure that their products come to you fresh from the assembly line without any dents. The sad thing I need to add, however, is that this is not an environmental way of ensuring the protection of a product. You don't need to worry about losing small parts during the unboxing process, and it's easy to organize everything together because all the small stuff are in one single shoebox, and the other parts are large and self-explanatory. The shoebox contains the wheels, or what others call casters, and the two Allen wrenches and some screws. The armrests come pre-installed already, thus saving the customer a few extra steps. A large instructions manual with extremely clear directions comes included. It only looks like a lot of writing, but it's essentially the same thing said in 12 different languages. The first thing I did was to arrange all the parts onto the floor exactly as how they were displayed in the manual. Hey! If you like what you're watching so far, please consider liking and subscribing to Hardware Sugar where we generate regular tech content. The casters are surprisingly quite attractive. As someone who has collected a lot of office chairs over the years, I was expecting to see the generic cheap plastic wheels. These casters are large and have this premium looking river wheel design. An added bonus is that these casters also have locks you can deploy in case you don't want your chair to roll. A feature of which I haven't encountered with other chairs in the past. Installing them was as simple as jamming them into the base. No tools needed. Quite frankly, the longest part of the installation was the removal of pre-installed screws. This is my first time encountering a chair which has screws already installed but which are meant to be removed during the installation process and then placed back exactly where they were removed. This is a smart installation technique on the part of Sharkoon. 
That way, it's impossible to get confused on which screw goes into where because you quite literally just removed it and are being asked to place it back where you found it, but this time, securing the seat and back support together. While we're on the topic of screws, the screws which bolt down the entirety of the chair seem to be using just one type. In fact, the only screws you need to look for in the package are these two tiny screws which are used to seal the cover of the arms. All the other screws, as I mentioned before, are already pre-installed in the exact place where you were supposed to reinstall them. Here are my first impressions on the material used by the chair. First, the base of the chair is made out of smooth black metal and it is cool to the touch of your feet when you rest them there. The seat itself is supported by strong thread belts, a design aesthetic of which reminds me of airline chairs. The fabric is neatly and professionally stitched to the sides. I tend to look down here because of what I saw in the Ethan chair in which loose staples were coming out from underneath. You won't see any of that cheap stapling here. Something which is absolutely a given considering how much this chair costs. Now, here are my first impressions of the chair taken as a whole and placed alongside my desk which I just finished cable managing. You can see a video of how I cable manage my minimalist desk in the link above. I am very happy with the way it looks. The gray and black fabric of the chair meld effortlessly with my gray wall, white NZXT case, and my white drawers, thus sustaining the minimalist look. There is a lot to talk about with the SGS40. But let me tell you the highlights. It can recline pretty far back. You can also lean back when you want to lounge about while watching YouTube. The arms go up and down, move from side to side, and can be moved further away or more inward. On skin level, it seems like it has all the elements of a good ergonomic chair for being adjustable in places where it needs to be adjustable. As early as now, however, I immediately noticed two big problems with the And you want to give a special shout out to our top fans. Dom H, Liam Magnae, Ian Meru, Richard Onkinko, IDX Addict, John Ochia, and Christian Espinosa. Again, thank you so much for all your support and for tuning in to our live stream. I see a lot of you. Till next time, guys.